If I had to name 10 artists that I've ever been involved with, Rock Radio would be in the top five. Sugar Man. He's my most memorable artist. Bob Dylan was mild to this guy. He was this wandering spirit around the city. When he opened up and sang, he went, whoa, this guy's got it. We expected big things, and it did absolutely nothing. How many records do you think you sold in America? In America, six. Nobody had even heard of him. How can that be? How can that be? It's a bit of a mystery how the first copy of Cold Fact came to South Africa, but to us, it was one of the most famous records of all time. He was the soundtrack to our lives. Bigger than Elvis. Much bigger than Rodney Stones. Any revolution needs an answer. The message it had was be anti-establishment. The first opposition to apartheid, they were influenced by Rodriguez. Nobody knew anything about him. He was a mystery. And we found out that he had committed suicide. The story differs a lot, and a lot of people have different versions of the story. He set himself a light on stage. He reached down and pulled up a gun and pulled the trigger. I thought it would make a good story, find out how Rodriguez died. So we started looking quite deeply at the lyrics. And one day, just by accident, I found it. What I thought was the end of story was actually just the beginning, and the best part was still to come. Wanted, and have you seen this man? As a matter of fact, I have seen it before. Sounds like something you would make up if you were bragging on some dream or something. It didn't work out, but don't ever doubt how He's like a, a wise man, a prophet, way beyond just being a, a musical artist. The thing. He had this kind of magical quality that all genuine poets and artists have. He's representative of the human spirit of what's possible. Forget it. This is all too strange to be true. These are the days of miracles and wonder.